Now, could the Kramer family in the Eastern Cape finally receive their land? They say their land claim was found to be compliant as per a report done by an independent researcher in what has been described as one of the biggest land claims in the country. The family is hoping the matter will finally be put to rest. The Kramer family first submitted their claim in 1996 for land that goes back four generations and lost, of course, under apartheid. Let's get an update from Kramer, the Kramer family spokesperson and fifth generation descendant, Liesl Flanagan. Thank you so much, Liesl, for joining me um, this morning. Um, we, I think the last time I actually heard about, you know, your story was in March or when we talked about it. Um, has anything happened now since March this year? Has there been any movements towards, uh, you know, the, the claiming of your land? What's the update you can give us? Well, first of all, thank you for the wonderful opportunity and thank you for the viewers for listening. Well, there was, uh, there is an update and on the 20th of May this year, the research report was handed to or presented to the Kramer family and it was once again found that our claim was compliant in accordance with the Restitution Act. We then, representatives of the Kramer claim, then presented the report from the independent report from um, received from Macon to the rest of the family. And what happened there was that we were still not satisfied what the government was trying to give us or we would feel, this is our opinion, force upon us because they are still um, telling us that we have to except a thousand hectares, where we have um, showed them with supporting documents and evidence that it is well over a thousand hectares in total. Now, since then, we have also presented a 16 page um, report to them with supporting documentation that we found recently as evidence. And that was found amongst the documents of the late Godfrey Kramer who was one of the pioneers and a front runner in the fight for the Kramers to get the claim back. Now, th these documents, astonishing, astonishingly enough, was mm. um, the original deeds of transfer, which he had in his possession, and none of us knew about it until recently when the children of Godfrey Kramer handed these documents to me. I then, we then um, presented them as supporting evidence that this is the key to the Kramer claim and that it supports a story being told by the elders in a video and it tells the story of what we were trying to tell them and confirm that Darman Kramer did own the land and the size that we were that we were presenting them with and that Darman Kramer bought the land and rented or leased it out to these white farmers who subsequently were the farmers that took over the land or mm. took the land from the farmers and, and were covered by the Land Act of 1913. Now, we're just waiting mm. on the report. We're just waiting on the report back from the government, the LCC, yeah. and they told us that we have to wait 14 days Mm. for the report feedback and the 14 days is by the 11th of October. But we still feel that the government is still delaying, delaying the yeah. inevitable. So, the so, land was... Yes. Yeah. So, so, so basically all the evidence that you've now submitted, it seems like you are still doing so much work even though it seems like you've already done enough, but it seems like you're already doing extra work just to make sure that, you know, that all your claim, everything is in order from your side at least. But you're saying the government's now playing a delaying tactic, if that's what I assume now, what you've said. Um, what are you expecting from this report now? Look, the report was compiled by myself. It's not an expectation. Or the, fe the feedback from the government side, rather. Yeah. The feedback that we have to have, the what they did was our claim was uh, gazetted, as we were told by the Department of LCC. Our claim was gazetted, but it was not yet published. 
because of the dispute in extent, the size mm. of the claim. And the report will be handed to them. They will do a memo and it will be presented to national office for approval and signature. Thereafter, they do the internal procedures and they do the stakeholders meeting. Well, um, from our side, I think the viewers and you can agree, 27 years of a claim of this magnitude, it's a disgrace that we are still fighting. We have gone above and beyond. The Restitution Act only requires two factors to be proven. Number one, that the land was owned by, by Jarman Kramer, and number two, that there was illegal eviction mm. and um, disposition after June 1913. We have done that, but we do know that as of the 27 years, delay tactics yeah. upon delay tactics and, and multiple notes and just feeding and us with jam. Yeah. Just to just to remind us again, um, uh, you know, of, of course, you've been having so many meetings with all the stakeholders involved. I, I, um, I know, and um, the farmers as well. Just to 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 get clarity again um, from what the the other side, the farmers, the stakeholders, what are they saying regarding this whole issue? Are they all on board? Look, we have not had that meeting. We were not involved in a meeting as yet with the other side of the of the fence, but. Mm. Um, I just want one thing clear to be noted, that we are not out to rip away or destroy the livelihoods of these farmers. We just want what is rightfully ours. They might have, say that the land is theirs now, but the land was ours. It was rightfully ours, and it was provision made by Darman Kramer for his generations to mm. come. So we, we open, we as a family are open to negotiation. Mm. And what, what are those people. negotiations that you are bringing to the table? Look, at the end of the day, the, the decision is not mine alone. It's not that of the EXCO. Um, the decision is the entire family. The claim belongs to the entire family. So um, what the family has been open to was that our land, the claimed land, does benefit, um, does benefit the greater country, South Africa, and it supports a great deal to the economy, Just because mm. we're rich in agriculture and we're rich in minerals. So there is no question mark um, whether we, we are open to becoming the, the landlord and work jointly in increasing and helping with the poverty, the water, the drought, and job creation. Mm. But it's entirely up to him and the government. All mm. we're looking forward to is the restoration of our land because our family is dying at a rapid rate. We are tired of these delay tactics. We are tired of the games of the government. We as a family have gone far and beyond what is required so we need this claim to be sorted. And if you go back to the to the Bible, the Bible said what is what was done wrong in the first and second generation will be rectified in the third and the fourth. Mm. This is the third and the fourth generation, and mm. we will see restoration take place. Right. We don't give up. We want what is rightfully ours, taken away by us, by mm. a government. And the promise that the new regime has made was that whatever mistakes was done in the old regime mm. will be rectified in the new regime. But we're finding that we are still struggling under this new regime even mm. more if All that's right. what is right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, that's unfortunately all we have time for this morning. Thank you for your time, um, Liesl Flanagan, of course, spokesperson of the Kram family. Um, saying that everything is in order on their side uh, to reclaim their land, land that's owed to them. And they've been ha battling uh, this for 27 years now. Uh, but it does seem like there is some movement at least happening, but they just need um, that 100% approval that this is their land indeed.